Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Veganism is such a disgusting, repulsive doctrine. The longer you are ex-vegan, the more you realize how sick it really is. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today I'm on rawfoodsupport.com. We're gonna read the blog spot called Raw Kids Eating Ants. So raw vegan children that are eating ants for survival. Moreover though, this is a blog spot of a raw vegan woman that developed a brain tumor on her raw vegan diet. As if that wasn't bad enough, she fed the same diet that made her develop that brain tumor to her children. Let's have a look. Raw kids eating ants, Gingy's journey. The things you find out later, like that my 100% raw vegan children were secretly eating ants. So first and foremost, there are no 100% raw vegan children because ideally those children breastfeed. Even if you wouldn't breastfeed and you would feed them formula, they wouldn't be raw vegans. What made them go? Hey, do these crawling insects taste? good, I wonder if it was an instinct that they needed protein. Hmm. The way some pregnant woman in need of iron will instinctively eat dirt or cement crumbs. Wow, there's so much wrong with this single sentence. No, those women are not eating instinctively cement crumbs because there are no cement crumbs in a natural environment. Wow. Mind-blowing. Instinct women that are deficient in iron would eat raw animal flesh. And obviously, Einstein, children need proteins and fats. If you don't feed it to them, they will try to get it somewhere else. I have heard of vegan kids scavenging in garbage bins, but as we lived in the boondocks, that wasn't possible for hours. Veganism is such a disgusting, repulsive doctrine. The longer you are ex-vegan, the more you realize how sick it really is. And of course, nobody on vegan social media will tell you those things. There are kids literally scavenging in bins and the parents allow this. Needless to say, I am horrified. Yes, you're horrified about your children eating ants, but you're not horrified about children scavenging in bins. Not as horrified as when one of my kids told me they were never aware of being hungry on raw because they had never known what it was like to be not hungry. Absolutely heartbreaking. Unfortunately, I know exactly what those children are talking about. Because when I went vegan, I started to develop that insatiable hunger. It started slowly and then developed stronger and stronger and stronger. From day to day, I would get hungrier. At the same time, more time would pass being vegan. So I would find myself in the twilight zone, basically, where I forgot how it feels like to be satiated. Absolutely disgusting. Those kids don't even know how it feels like to be satiated, to be nourished. I'd like to say they are all doing fine now, and in most ways they are, but they are eating disorders, digestive issues, emotional issues around food, energy deficiencies, and blood sugar issues. I would like to say they're doing fine now. Wow, man, what an evil woman. Absolutely disgusting. As a former proponent of feeding children a 100% raw vegan diet, I feel the responsibility now to state that I really don't believe that it is a good idea. Oh, you think? Yes, lots of fresh food in their diet is great. Great. Fruit instead of candy is a great idea, but kids need more protein and calories than they can get from an exclusively raw vegan diet. Oh wow, you don't say. So children need more calories that they can extract out of fruits and vegetables, but you as a grown-up, you don't, right? What are you even saying? Now the raw vegan diet is not suitable for children, but it still is for you, even though you developed a brain tumor. It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor. At all. Wow, man. 
As with anything, avoid fanatical extremism. The balanced way is the best. A balanced diet, including all the food groups and macronutrients, is healthy. Eat the way your grandparents ate. Cut down on processed food. Thank God this woman realized it in the end, but the damage on her children was already done. I admire vegans who eschew animal products for health, compassion or ethical reasons. You admire admire those vegans even though you destroyed the lives of your children? What is wrong with those people, man? But I'm on my grandparents' diet, hoping to die peacefully in my sleep at the age of 97, like both my Swedish grandparents did. No, you're gonna die of a heart attack because of cholesterol. More than concerning myself with keeping my body alive, I'm concerning myself with developing immortal souls sufficiently to survive beyond this short life in the flesh. <laughs> All right, guys, and this is the article, absolutely repulsive, horrifying stuff that you find in the depths of the internet, absolutely disgusting that people malnourish their children, mistreat their children, abuse their children, destroy the children's lives for a vegan diet. And people will still tell you that the vegan diet is not a religion. Yeah, sure. Anyways, I saw some ex-vegans, anti-vegans, and famous carnivore YouTubers already reacting to this blog spot and telling the world that those kids only ate ants because they were malnourished. Obviously, those children were malnourished, therefore, thankfully, they had access to ants. However, me as a father, I have to say that my one-year-old boy that eats raw meat, organs, dairy on a daily basis still has fun picking up ants and eating them. So I believe this is just a beautiful display of human nature. This is what we do. We pick up alive animals and eat them. It is the healthiest for us. Moreover, I want to say that if I learned one thing in my life, it is not about learning more, but ultimately unlearning. If we look at all the isms in the world, people try to study them, be it veganism, liberalism, feminism, LGBTQ, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, P, ism. They're just filling their heads with nonsense. It won't help them in the long run. It is not real. Life is about unlearning and returning to our true nature. This is why I as a father have of course a lot of things to teach to my son, but at the same time I make sure to observe him and learn from this unconditioned being. It is absolutely beautiful to see a natural human in its natural state. Alright guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you very much. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.